I'm Jeff. So your father just got home from work, and he's clearly frustrated. Because, of, because the company your father works for has been making less money, they just laid him off. Due to the recession, your parents have started to live paycheck to paycheck and do not have much money in their savings. This is all too common in the U.S. Due to the recession, rising costs of living without rising pay have led to families living paycheck to paycheck. CNBC claims that in 2009, 61% of workers were living paycheck to paycheck. This is an increase from 49% in 2008. After looking into the subject, I've come to the conclusion that there were more effective ways to handle a recession. I'll address how the Obama administration handled the recession, what was wrong with the current policy, and alternate more effective solutions. To begin, I will, I will explain uh, the current government policy revolves around two main solutions. First, the stimulus package. This was a $787 billion package approved in February of 2009. Kimberly Amato from About.com states that the stimulus package was meant to be spent over 10 years with 91% of its budget spent in the first three. The package was initially aimed to spend $228 billion in tax cuts, $224 billion in extending unemployment, education, and health care benefits, and $275 billion to create jobs through federal grants, loans, and contracts. Recovery.gov says that in order to fit with the 2012 Obama spending, the budget for the stimulus package was increased to $840 billion. Recovery.gov also, also shows that uh, the, the stimulus package has currently spent $753.9 billion. In the, slide, in the slide above, you can see that the package has spent $297 billion in tax benefits, $231 billion in contracts, loans, and grants, which include education and infrastructure, and lastly, $224 billion in entitlements. This includes Medicare, Medicaid, and unemployment programs. Secondly, the, se the second main solution were budget cuts. In order to trim, trim the national debt, which is over $15 trillion, the government implemented budget cuts. The stimulus package was a big spending plan, so in order to combat the massive amounts of spending, they cut federal, federal funding. The stimulus package was aimed to prevent state budget cuts, but this fails. States begin cutting spending on education and job programs in order to, in order to avoid a deficient. USA Today show, uh, claims that, the co that Congress, Congress aims to cut nearly $1 trillion from federal agency funding. So now that we know what the current policy is, I'll explain what's wrong with it. There are two main problems with the current policy. Firstly, the stimulus package was too small. Larry Summers, head of the National Economic Council, wrote a 57-page memo to Obama shortly before his inauguration. In his memo, a non-stimulus scenario of the recession claimed that unemployment would have never risen above 9%. CommonDreams.org shows that, that the unemployment rate was at 9.4% in May of 2009 and peaking at 10% in October of 2009. This is extremely high, especially in comparison to previous administrations. The Clinton administration, for example, had employment at 4.2% in 1999. When you consider the percentages, of, especially considering 311 million people live within the U.S., according to the U.S. Census Bureau, 5%, uh, 10 percent unemployment is very, very high. The second main problem were that budget cuts happened too soon. Dean Baker, co-director of the Center for Economic and Policy Research, states that the economic data showed that the economy was not ready for these budget cuts. He adds that budget cuts should have happened after unemployment was, was lowering and the economy was on a clear path to recovery. Now that we know what was wrong with the current policy, what were alternate solutions? There were three major changes to the current policy. First, a larger stimulus. Dean Baker claimed that, this, that the stimulus should have had a larger budget, budget and spent over more time. Because this did not happen, 
this led to this led to, this would a larger stimulus would have led to less job loss. Because this did not happen, this led to more jobs lost. Dean, Dean Baker also says that the government should have explained should have explained the current situation with the economy so that Congress would have helped uh, would have approved for more budget. The lack of communication led to Congress against the higher budget. Secondly, budget cuts should have happened later. The economy needed more stimulus when budget cuts were implemented. CommonDreams.org says that more, more economic stimulus should have, been, should have been provided to combat unemployment. The third major change would be to fix expectations. Dean Baker says that once the Obama administration realized the economy was worse than expected, they did not change their plan. More open and upfront and upfront communication would have led to a quicker recovery. This lack of communication led to a stimulus package that was too small and budget cuts that happened too early. If the economy was better explained, Congress would have been much more sympathetic to the cause. In conclusion, my plan would have would have would include a refocus on economic recovery and recover jobs. It would, ha it would end up in a healthier, healthier reco uh, economy in the long term. Thank you. Six minutes and about 20 seconds. Jeff, that was terrific. Uh